hey guys so i'm here i'm going to try to feed cupcake bella which is tape by claire tellum and i'm just going to give her a very warm bottle and she has a drink and wet system so i like to give her very warm bottles because it um you can feel it when it comes out and so it just makes it feels more real um if you've ever held a real baby a lot of times we'll be like oh she's wetting her diaper because you can literally feel them when they, they go to wet in their diaper sometime um first thing i want to say is make sure that you are subscribed make sure that you click the bell to be on the notification squad um all right guys so let's get into it um while i feed her i will try to answer the question about what i think about the matting powder that everybody is using you and and talking about um i it seems like it's the new sensation the new buzz that's going on um Also, I want to say thank you to Kamara. She got Miss to this little cute little uh, nightgown because mommy don't uh, don't splurge like that. So it'll probably be the only Ralph Lauren nightgown she'll own. <laughs> but um, come on, 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 come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, so. Wait till I'm done. So the um so I don't know if people are asking just because they want me to debate or contradict what other people have said about it or you know think about it or if they really want to know. You never know these days in the streets of the YouTube world. But here's what I'm gonna tell you. Um the silicone powder idea sounds great. For those that want to use them um, use it I think that if you are brave enough and you feel good and confident enough about you know using it on your dog then I think that's great um, I will be the first one to say I don't know enough about silicone powder matting powder I don't know enough about matting itself to even speak on it from a standpoint of being able to give someone you know true advice on whether it's a good thing to do or a bad thing to do um, I'm not gonna sit here <laughs> and tell you guys oh yeah go use it or oh no don't use it because I don't know I've never painted silicone before I've never matted silicone before um, I do have a baby to paint on I do have everything I need I just I have been afraid to do it so eventually I'll I'll try it but it's only to repair a baby not um, or paint on a baby that was, you know, given to me to, to, you know, experiment on. Um, and I think that anonymous, uh, subscriber who, who wanted me to have that baby and try on it. Um, but, you know, for me, um, I know the next question would be, would I try it? And I will tell you. For me right now, that would be a no, just because I don't know enough about it. Um, you know, I'll let everybody else be the test, test dummies on it and see how that works out for them. But for me, um, in most cases, I buy from straight from the artist. So if I have any issue, I probably go back to the artist first, um, just because, like I said, I don't typically um, deal in silicone, so I don't know enough, and I don't I. I just don't feel comfortable with it um it's kind of like also like with the powdering down the babies when I first started collecting silicones I thought the powdering was the greatest thing I still love to do it trust me if you know if I had a baby that that needed it I would would powder them but like for instance um when I started collecting I collect collected other silicone babies from other artists before and some of them didn't really need it as much, to be honest. And I just did it because I wanted to. And then there were a few that I had that was really sticky that needed it. But most cases, I didn't have ones that needed it a whole lot. But um, I 
when I started collecting Claritella babies, the first one that I collected was Zoe. And that was a secondhand baby. I think I was her third mommy. Um, and that's been probably about three to four years ago. And I did powder her. Um, and I rinsed her off, you know, a couple times after I powdered her. And it was fine. But once I got the next silicone baby that I got after her, I think I got Kingston. I never powdered him because, for one, he was dark skinned and I didn't want him to look dusty. And two, Claire does some type of finish that don't require pow powder on the, her babies. Um, I don't know, over years, you know, maybe, you know, depends on the, the, the way the, the collectors handle them, how, if the mat holds up or not. But um, I don't, um, I don't powder them because they don't need it so I don't do it even though I enjoy powdering the babies I just don't do it if they don't need it so that's my thing if this baby you think the baby needs silicone matting powder and your artist tell you to use it then you know by all means you know do what you feel comfortable I'm not going to down I'm not going to talk against it and I'm not going to talk for it um, because like I said I simply don't know enough and that's the thing about me I'm not going to come on here and try to play an expert on something I clearly don't have, you know, enough information about to, you know, speak on in that way. If I know something and I'm pretty sure about it, then yeah. Or if I've experienced it myself, then yeah, I'll 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 share with you guys. But other than that, no. So yeah. So congrats to all the new mommies out there that has new babies, and um. I'm really excited to see, you know, a lot of people enjoying the dolls and the hobby. Um, the biggest sensation for me right now has been pictures and dressing Bella. I've been enjoying her a whole lot. Um, I am going to be dressing some of my Reborns as well. I've also, um, with Chase, Chase has been like the one pulling my most attention. I have quite a bit of babies that's like posed around that I love to look at like baby blessing and pebbles and um who else uh Ramesh um so yeah I've been also collecting in the background a little bit too as well um I just you know I've just taken a step back um right now a lot of people think that it has to do with the hobby itself but it really doesn't um, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff with my family, um, you know, some people in my, you know, family members, um, you know, have had some things that I've had to, you know, try to assist with, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it's, you know, and I've been taking a step back a little bit with that. So if you don't see me making videos, it's not that anybody in the community has like ran me off or anything like that. It's just that, you know. Um, this is a hobby, so it's mean it's done on my spare time, it's done for enjoyment, it's done for fun. And if I can't, you know, enjoy it, I'm not going to rush to do a video just to do a video. Um, and you guys be watching and be like, uh, okay, she could have kept that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or girl, what? <laughs> so I'm not, um, I'm not going to do that. Oh, Bella. Oh, no, look like it. I know you're diaper feels pretty oh this thing is heavy oh yeah you've been she's been wetting up a storm come on and as you guys can see um let me show you she's not she's not drooling so you know i like to see like i didn't mind the the little dribbles and everything but i do find it much neater to um I, f I find it much neater to be able to um feed without the um without the water like running all over or running down so I do like that these do do that now you know it's it's a beautiful thing, you know, when collecting. That's one of the, the things, the ways that I collect too. 
I like to collect um, from artists and I like to see them evolve and grow and change over the years, you know, um, from when I had Zoe, which was a very much older edition um, by Claire Teller. I think, I don't know how old that edition is, maybe four or five years old now. Um, and then, you know, Kingston was one that she started and then picked back up on. So there was a huge gap in between the first few that went out and then the last three, I think, because it was five in there, that edition. Um, and then, um, but then when I got Jade, so from Zoe to Jade, it was so much, you know, growth, even, you know, just in the sculpting and everything. Um, although I, all of them was really nice, but it's really nice when you can collect from an artist and see their work just steady, you know, evolve. Now, um, Bella, being that she's a kid, um, quote unquote, she's uh, sold to be, you know, she was sculpted to be made as a blank kit. Um, even with the simplicity of her sculpting is very beautiful. And when you compare it to the, the kits that she did back when, like the hope and the charity that were sold as kits for other artists to be able to in, enjoy painting on a blank canvas of um, Clara sculpting, it's definitely a nice change. You're getting the neck and the, the, the drinking wet. So, you know, like Patricia Reborn Baby said, it's, it's definitely a treat for us collectors, especially those that of us that you know can't afford to spend top dollar right at the moment you know um or some that just not willing to spend it you know and but want to have a piece of uh claire taylor sculpting into your collection it's, it's a great treat but it's really nice to see the artists evolve and change over the years um you don't always see that some people get stagnant and content in their work but it's really nice um like, I couldn't compare Jade to Zoe as much because there was so much upgrade in between the two with the features and everything. But it's really nice to see that. As well as, like, with Reborn artists, you know, to see someone start out doing one thing and then they just grow, grow, grow. And it's kind of why, you know... I tend to stick with the same artist for a while and I'll, I like to see their work, you know, uh, change and evolve. And sometimes you, you're lucky when you catch them on the early end because when they blow up and they get really big, then you can't afford their work. Like the Zoe's, um, I think the original price was between 2500 to 3000 and then they went up to like, they at one point when I was buying, when I bought mine, they were selling between five and five thousand and fifty five hundred the Zoe's even though the original edition years prior originally sold for like twenty five hundred um I think now today they still are selling pretty pretty up there over the years um that's another thing her dolls pretty much hold their value um the Janicas oh my god the Janicas are very rare fine um I don't see them going up for sale as often as some of the other ones um but yeah, you 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 see the the growth and you know, and you also see the price changing changes as well. It's it's like whoa. I remember back then I was like I'm you know the most I spent on a doll was like two thousand um, for a silicone, and I wasn't gonna spend any more than that. But time changed, and before I knew it, you know. Forty-five, five thousand was the low end. You know what I mean? Like for some of the elite artists, um, I think the average price um, now for silicones is gonna be like, you know, the medium, the happy medium. I think it's around thirty-two hundred to thirty-six hundred is usually for the basics. Um, so yeah. But anyway, but it's really nice. You know, like I see a lot of people, they, you know, they get the kits and they paint them this, themselves. Whatever they pay for the kit plus their whatever materials that they, they use to paint 
that's it for them. They've saved a lot of money and they got a lot of features. So, um, it's really nice. But anyway, guys, that is it. And I just thought I would share that. I'm going to go ahead. I got her diaper here all ready for her to get changed. I'm not going to do that here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and change, get her changed out. And, um, thanks guys for always watching and coming back and checking up on my old videos. Some that you might have missed while I'm, you know, you know, up and down with uploading. But I'll be soon back on a re regular schedule, I hope. Um, so, yeah. All right. Oh, and I know this is at the very end and people probably won't stay to the end. But happy birthday to Gianna. I um, wanted a special happy birthday to her. And, um, all right. And, oh, yeah. And I have to say, hey, Gabby Pooh, because if she watches this video and hear that I say something to somebody else, she's going to have a fit. <laughs>